Anyway, coming up, we've got the sassy lassies, Emma and Mickey from the pop group Lush. I'm here with the foxy females from Lush, Mickey and Emma. Thanks for coming to my pajama party. Yeah. Now, I noticed that, that you were getting an eyeful of that activity up there. I mean, what, what do you think about all this, the women getting a nose full of trouser? Does that appeal to you? No, not really. No, I, think, I don't think that's where I'd go to sniff really first. <laughs> when you so, first meet someone. Yeah, yeah. So are you not one of these women that's really into the personal smell of your man? I prefer the personal smell to aftershave, but, you know, it depends how... There's a fine line between a personal smell and BO, you know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you don't, want, you don't want him to go too gamey. Is, <laughs> no. that, is that the idea? No. I mean, I've got a mate who went out with a bloke and he only used to have one bath a year, right? And he used to wear the same T-shirt all year, and I think that's a little too gamey. But do you think that there gets a point where, like, you can, you can only get so smelly and you don't get any more smelly than that? I think um, by the time you're that smelly, it's so smelly, it's already unbearable anyway. You might not actually get any more than that. The but... smell <laughs> threshold, you just kind of hit it, yeah. and it's a wall of stink. Because I really like smells. I mean, there's certain things. I mean, different women like different things about their men. Because Michelle was saying the other week that she actually likes to pick her boyfriend's earwax out of his ear. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and, and Patsy Kensett came to my party a few weeks ago, and she was saying that she likes to pick her loved one's feet. So, so do, you, do, you, do, you like, do you have any little secrets like that? Squeezing blackheads. Yeah, squeezing blackheads. Squeezing blackheads. That's about as far as I think we'll go. But that, and is that satisfying for you? Yeah, I think so. Is it, why is it satisfying? Do you like it too? Yeah, well there's something quite, you know, it's an achievement, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You get them, you know, it's probably like monkeys when they sit yeah, there going, yeah. you know. Each other. Picking fleas out and stuff. Yeah. So, so you had a big hit with your song Single Girl. Is that, you, you don't really want to be married and hitched, do you? Do you really want to be a single girl? I don't want to be married. I quite like going out with people, actually. It's Emma's song, you know. You're the one to blame, <laughs> Emma. What's the thrust behind it? Because well, you're kind of sending it up. You're, well, um, it's not actually the mad dash of the altar. Well, when I wrote it, I, I was very into being single, but at the moment I'm, I'm hitched, so. All right. You know, things change. They <laughs> certainly things do. Change. So you guys have been together quite a long time. How many years? In the band, the eight band. years. But we used to go to school together. Did you? Mm. Did you have pajama parties at school? Did you have these no, girly it wasn't a boarding night? school, it was a day school. So. Oh, right. Goth and parties we used to have. Goth <laughs> parties? What did you do? Burn black candles? Wear well, lots of <laughs> black lipstick. Paint our faces white, you know. Fishnets on our arms. And oh, yeah. Fishnets on your arms. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds uh, like... Takes me back. Oh, it takes me back. It takes me right back to Mr. Sam here and his magic ball. All that chimp action is making me peckish. Yeah, you loved that chimp running around, didn't you? <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I think it's time for some midnight munchies. Well, look at Miss Amanda Holden Hello. here in the kitchen. Hello. Now, you've got something special for midnight yes, munchies. Yes, this evening I'm making hermaphrodite love flange. Hermaphrodite love yes, flange? Yes, which means it's something for girls and boys to get their tongues around. Uh, uh. There I have it. I, I think I've had it. This is hermaphrodite cake, and I'm just going to bring this over for my mm. pajama party. Guess, would you like a piece of hermaphrodite cake? It might swap your genitalia around. I like this. Do you like this? That's like you're having the girl part. <laughs> and everyone, everyone likes the girl part. Oh, I know he's putting the boy part down. The old Bill. Why don't we wait and see whether our genitalia is going to swap around as a result of eating this hermaphrodite cake? Why don't you stay tuned to see glamorous super vixen drag artiste Angel and Coco provide a party? from Lush have just been putting up with so many antics tonight, I thought it was time to treat them to a party pamper. So for tonight's party pamper, Angel and Coco are going to whisk up something special. What is it? Well, it's a kind of something that we've stolen from a little magazine article, 70s magazine article, a couple of face packs. Right, but real Stepford Wives Completely kind of thing. Stepford Wives. They're right. our inspiration, actually, this evening. Right, and so these are face packs that you can whip up at home. Yeah. In the kitchen. Yeah, and it's a recipe you're just going to die for. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got one that's for dry skin. Right. This is for um, olive. This has got olive oil, egg yolk, and honey in it. Right. And that one is for 
um, oily skin. Oily this skin. has got egg Lemon. white. Lemon, uh, free range egg white, actually. Yes. Lemon and um, carbonate of magnesium, which I'm and sure you're all very familiar with. And what, what kind of skin type are you? Well, I think they call it combination. So. Combination skin. Well, that doesn't really matter. And, all, and, what, and what kind of skin type are you, Nikki? Oily and right. spotty. Oily. Okay, well, just slap it on okay. the girls and get That's going. Just, I think this is the kind of thing Joan Collins would do every day. Yeah. And doesn't yeah. she look gorgeous for her age? <laughs> well, Joan Collins, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Does this feel nice? Salad dressing on your face. <laughs> How's that feeling there, being dabbed oh, like a little really glazed really egg? <laughs> Do you feel like a newborn gerbil? Oh, I need a pick-me-up, so I think that's what... Just, that's a put you these down. Are, these are hard-working How do you girls. feel, Mickey? Oh, it's cold and I'm scared. It oh, is. Sorry. You <laughs> could be afraid. Oh, you're, you're frightened of me or the mixture. Which is it? <laughs> I'm frightened of how non-flame retardant your outfit is, Rachel. <laughs> exactly. No naked flames, please. Okay, this how, look how, lovely. Long, how long do they have to keep these face packs Days. on? Sometimes. Oh, I'm really sorry. Really? I thought I was going to be pampering you too. You can even wear it under makeup. It's quite easy. <laughs> Especially this one. Yeah. Okay, well, and we've got some cucumbers here. Oh, is that yeah. going to just slap them on their yeah. eyeballs? Yeah. So, here you go. Put your head back a bit. It's time to, it's time to bail out of this. Oh, so. oh for God. Oh, no. She looks let's, lovely. Let's catch up with some more <laughs> chimp action and Sam and his oh. magic ball. Oh, very good. I think this has been a perfect portrait of a perfect party that's time to wind up the pajama party tonight. Thanks to everybody for coming on down, the lush girls, the football boys. We're going to have tons of fun next week. And now put your party paws together for the Sound Superbs.